This here is Dark Flash's budget 240 millimeter all-in-one water cooler, the Twister DX240. Targeting that sub $100 price point, we have a cooler here that mimics the amazing aesthetics of the well-known NZXT Kraken series of AIOs but for a much reasonable $80 to $100 price tag. With that price, you get your choice in three different colors, black, white, and pink, along with compatibility with most modern Intel and AMD sockets. The design sits on the nice looking side of things with the RGB infinity mirror on the pump top, nicely sleeved tubing, a completely white radiator, as well as two 120 millimeter all white RGB fans. Build quality here is pretty decent, although my pump casing did end up having a few scuffs on it after careful and light use. Luckily though, once installed, these scuffs aren't Aren't really visible at all. Now, while I typically like to dive into the installation process, the instructions here are quite clear and very easy to follow. I had no issues and nor should you. I'm gonna skip it today, but I do have one note for proper installation. Make sure that the tubes face towards the back IO of your motherboard rather than towards your memory slots. This way the logo is facing upright. And no, unfortunately you cannot rotate the pump top on this unit, which is quite a big bummer as it'll limit how you can install it in your case. Now, one of the biggest issues I've seen with these more budget AIOs is noise output, and in particular, pump whine. Unfortunately, this cooler is no exception. For my testing, I had to drop the pump's voltage onto 7.2 volts in order to properly prepare the cooler for my noise normalized testing. Just the pump with no fans on was pushing this cooler to output 36 decibels of noise while at stock settings. And I always normalize the 35 decibels for my noise normalized testing. Not only that, but it's also super loud, annoying, and from my testing, you'll only see a one degree performance bump by leaving it at the stock 12 12 volts. So for testing, I use the same Ryzen 9 3900X I've used in previous reviews. It's clocked at 4.2 gigahertz at 1.25 volts, and it sits in my MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard. Without restrictions, the DX240 does pretty well here, coming in with an average temperature of 64.6 degrees Celsius and a max temperature of 72 degrees Celsius. The downside here is that it also outputs a whopping 48 decibels of noise, which is the second loudest in my testing to only the triple fan Vitro V360. Luckily, dropping the voltage down to 7.2 volts and normalizing the noise produced to 35 decibels provides a very minor drop in performance. In this test, we saw an average temperature of 67.5 degrees Celsius and a maximum temperature of 74.5 degrees Celsius. And so, like many AIOs, this comes down to a matter of preference not value. Many budget AIOs, at least when paired with CPUs like the Ryzen 9 3900X or lower, don't provide the extra performance bump to make it 100% worth it over solid performing and cheaper air coolers like the Freezer 34 Esports Duo or Enermax ETS F40 ARGB. But they do have arguably better aesthetics. Minus the noisy pump and loud fans, the Dark Flash DX240 does bring a really nice looking design along with an easy installation process and decent performance to the table for a decent price. I'd love to see them include better fans and a pump without this whining issue in their next revision. But overall, if you like the aesthetics and don't mind tweaking the pump voltage, I can see a reason for you to pick up this cooler. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Let me know what you think of this DX240 down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.